Hi, I'm Chris Rodinas, Research Analyst for IT Creations. Today we'll be looking at Dell's FX2 Converged Infrastructure Platform, which offers a definite departure from the typical Power Edge rack server. The FX2 supports several different blade-like combinations, so you get the best of both worlds. Easy and flexible rack deployments of the 2U chassis, supporting the compact performance and agility of server blades. It's a compact all-in-one modular solution combining compute, storage, and networking in a single package that shares cooling, power, and management. This is an ideal platform for data centers and highly virtualized environments that can easily scale out. The FX2 is a converged infrastructure platform. This means management of IT resources is centralized to consolidate systems and increase resource utilization rates, all while lowering costs. It creates a pool of virtualized servers, storage, and networking that's more adaptable for consolidating and sharing of resources instead of dedicating a group of systems to a single task. Converged infrastructures offer better flexibility and agility by offering automated IT processes with an integrated management system that can be managed from a single console. There are two chassis options, the FX2 and the FX2S. Both feature dual hot plug PSUs, two I.O. aggregator block bays, a central management controller, and both support quarter, half, and full width compute and storage modules or sleds. However, it should be noted, the compute and storage modules for the FX2 are not compatible with the VRTX and the M1000 blade enclosure. The FX2S supports up to eight hot swap PCIe modules, each of which support low profile PCIe 3.0 expansion cards, supporting NICs, HBAs, and external perk controllers, including a low profile H830 RAID controller. Two PCIe switches on the mid plane automatically map the PCIe slots to the compute modules. The FX2, on the other hand, is less expensive and doesn't support PCIe slots. Our review unit is an FX2S and features two half-width, two-socket FC630 compute modules designed for private clouds and converged data centers. Each sled supports two Intel Xeon E52600 V3 CPUs with up to 18 cores each, 24 DIMM slots, two PCIe slots, either two 2.5-inch two drives or a version that supports up to eight 1.8-inch SSDs. It also supports dual SD cards for hypervisor redundancy and a PERC-9 SAS controller. With four FC630 compute blocks loaded on the FX2, up to 144 cores and 96 DIMM slots are available for some truly impressive performance in a 2U chassis. Three additional compute blocks are available, including the quarter-width two-socket FC430, the full-width four-socket FC830, and the half-width four-socket FM120X4. The FM120X4 houses four mini-servers and is designed specifically for the FX2 chassis without embedded PCIe modules. The FD332 is a half-width, high-density storage block and offers direct-attached storage with a maximum of two RAID controllers and 16 2.5-inch drives that can be assigned to the internal compute node on the FX2. FX servers can attach to a single FD332 or multiple FD332s. Using dual RAID controllers, access to the 16 drives can be split to attach to eight drives separately. Up to three half-width FD332 storage blocks can be installed with a single half-width FC630 module to access up to 48 SFF storage devices for dense DAS storage. The FM120X4 cannot be used with the FD332 storage module. Both compute and storage modules are warm swappable, meaning they can be removed from an operational FX2 enclosure after the individual compute module is powered off either remotely through the CMC or the iDRAC or by pressing the on-off button on the front of the module. With the FX2 and the FX2S, sleds and storage share redundant power, cooling, network switching, and chassis management. Eight hot plug fans supply cooling to the enclosure and sleds. There's two power edge FNIO aggregator blocks located on the back of the system. These replace the standard network interface, simplifying cable management and optimizing east-west server-to-server traffic within the FX2 chassis and the LAN-SAN convergence. Three different hot swappable aggregator blocks are available. Only two aggregators can be installed on the system at one time. Networking can also be implemented with the standard I.O. pass-through modules, but they don't offer the consolidation and cable management supported by the aggregator blocks. Installing two I.O. aggregators allows for dual redundant 10 gigabit paths between nodes. The FX2 offers administrators two ways to manage the system. Either Dell's open managed portfolio of management tools featuring iDRAC 8 with lifecycle controller, or Dell's embedded chassis management controller located on the back of the system, which can manage multiple chassis from one interface. 
The CMC module is hot swappable and monitors enclosure level power consumption, temperature, and error reporting through a browser. CMC provides a centralized management tool for network and security settings, power management, I.O. modules, and iDRAC settings. CMC automatically monitors I.O. paths, PCI slots, and sleds to protect the system in the event of component failure. Administrators can manage components individually or collectively and specify the first boot device on the compute sleds. Two dedicated RJ45s, one of which is a stack port, connects to the external management network to daisy chain CMCs in separate enclosures. The stack port can also be used for CMC NIC failover. Both CMC and iDRAC 8 are available with either Express or Enterprise licensing. Administrators can mix and match various compute nodes or sleds to create several different configuration options. On the front of the system, you'll find the power on button, system identification button, diagnostic indicators, a KVM button allowing individual access to the sleds. On the right, you'll find the video connector and a USB connector for a keyboard or mouse. On the back of the system, you'll find the CMC module, which includes a DB9 serial connector for CMC configuration, a one gigabit ethernet connector, and a stack one gigabit ethernet connector. You'll also find two aggregator IO modules, a system identification button, and up to eight low profile PCIe slots if you have the FX2S. The FX2 is a highly adaptable and agile addition to data centers offering excellent rack density. It offers more flexibility than a blade server and supports several different server node configurations to suit your unique application. The various combinations of compute and storage nodes support both mid-sized to large enterprises. The FX systems are more than a match for mission-critical workloads including e-commerce, virtual desktop infrastructure, data warehousing, and high-performance computing. Other configurations support extra low latency applications for high frequency trading, web serving, and dedicated hosting. We hope you enjoyed our review of Dell's FX2. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below and like this video if you like it. For pricing information, click the link in the description below to visit our website, itcreations.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates when we post a new video. I'm Chris Rodinas. Thanks for watching.